everybody, this is Dean DeCosta, and today we're talking a tool which is called Sourceable. Um, it's not really a recruiting tool, though. You could use it for that depending on the position. It's more for sales leads. So let's say you decided you've got job developers and you want to see if there's any companies looking. Maybe you can um, see if you can get them interested in the candidates. You look up the companies here. In this case, I'm going to look up Metasys. I'm looking for job developers. Uh, I already started. These are all the companies that had job developer positions recently. So we'll even go to net to source As you can see a day ago, they're still looking for a senior person. We are looking in Seattle. Now I'm going to get prospects. And what that really means is finding people that might actually be the people you'd want to connect with to try to see if, hey, do you need some help with job developer roles? I have a bunch. What we get is we get an assistant vice president, another VP, a technical recruiter, a team lead recruitment. And team lead recruitment is probably where you'd start say, hey, you know, how can we work with you? I see you're looking for job developers. We got job developers. Great. Um, as you can see, this little add button here uh, is how you would add these people to Sourceable, in which case you can then actually try to find their contact information. Simple push of the button, it gets added, and then it will find you contact information to allow you to connect. Uh, connect with them. Now what's really cool, you see it's added, is you see where the ad is? It's not part of LinkedIn's UI, so it doesn't violate their UI agreement. It actually sits on the white space on the left side, so there's no violation. And if we go back here and we and we go ahead and we reload our page here, um, we're going to go ahead and reload. You already saw them there, but I like to reload because you just never know. We'll get to net to source here real quick. And there they are right there. And then it's just a matter of emails, like in this case, ready. So I can actually send an email to them from here to try to get a hold of them. I can open it up and get their email. I can delete them. I can do literally anything I want here. And this is how you can kind of manage your uh, reach outs for a sales cycle for people. Now, mentioned it's not really for recruiting. It's not. But given the fact that we said we're looking for job developers, let's look at the people we got. Like I said, we got an assistant VP. We got a recruiter, so it can be used for recruiting. But you're gonna, it's your the the candidates you're gonna find are gonna be recruiters, uh, business development people, salespeople, higher level people. So you can, if those are what you're looking for, you can definitely use it for that. And uh, that's really about it. And as you can really see, we're here, and you're looking at all these, and uh, basically it's everybody that works for the company but the recruiters and everybody are first which is what you'd be after if you're trying to sell them on the idea of using your services to fill their uh, head count and that's really about it in a nutshell it uh it's simple it's easy uh has a chrome extension and that's what it's for it's like i said mainly sales could be used a little bit for recruiting definitely something you want to know especially if you're out there in the agency world and uh you know that's pretty much it this is sourceable and i'm dean DeCosta.